Good morning. Um, so I have a lot of kiddos who are out sick right now. So I thought I'd do a, a little lesson from yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna do some work on what we call systems. Systems is where we're working with more than one equation at a time. So we're gonna be dealing with word problems, yay. Um, and we're gonna be setting two equations up per word problems because we have lots of unknowns, not just a single unknown. So let's work on this first one and set it up. So first thing I always recommend doing is reading it. After you're done reading it, read it again. And this time, underline what you think is valuable information. Maybe numbers, maybe items of importance. So let's give it a read. First one, a teacher bought three grammar error three rulers and eight binders for $35. She bought six rulers and four binders for $22. What is the cost of each ruler and each binder? Cool beans, we read it the first time. Now let's read it again, underlining what we think are valuable bits of information. So, a teacher bought three rulers. Mm, that seems important. Eight binders, mm -hmm. 35 bucks. Yes, I'm gonna concur, that's important. Next, she bought six rulers, Woo -hoo. four binders, $22. What is the cost of each ruler and each binder? Well, right now our focus is just setting this guy up. So let's see, what items are we talking about? Looks like rulers and binders. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the important items. Ruler, binder. Now I need a letter, a variable, that will stand for each one of these. Now, I go for easy breezy lemon squeezy, R is a ruler, and B is a binder. I like that one, that's my favorite. You don't have to go with that one, you're welcome to go with, I'm an XY kid, I wanna use XY. Cool, as long as you set that rule up ahead of time that you know at the very end of the process what X equals or Y equals, that's great. But make sure you set this up ahead of time. I'm sticking with R and B. So the first one, it says she bought three rulers, three rulers, three R. Okay, three R. And, and, what would and be indicative of in mathematics? I'm gonna go with plus. Eight binders, eight Bs. Okay, so she bought three rulers, eight binders for a total of $35, for a total, four, what would be that equal? $35. Okay, well, let's read it, make sure that makes sense. Three R's and eight B's equals $35. Yeah, that totally makes sense. So this first sentence creates the first equation in our system. Cool. You guys should try to set up the second one all by yourself. Take a few moments, you can pause the video. Now let's look at it. We have six rulers. And I like to line them up because the technique I'm going to teach you is called eliminate. And the first step is to line them up. So I already get that done. And four binders. And that new total is $22. Congratulations. You got your first setup done. You should try two, three, and four on your own right now. Go for it. 